the power. Disc Mac. What's up, guys? Today we're going to check out this cool microphone that was sent to me from TZ Audio. We're going to review TZ Audio Stellar X2 Vintage Microphone. Make sure you check out my unboxing on this bad boy to see what it looks like. But for this video, we have it set up, and we're going to use this to create a song that I'm working on. We're going to try to use this one microphone to record all the audio that I'm going to be recording for this. So we have it set up here. And if you know anything about me, when I start off a song, I like to start off with a sweet bass line. All right, guys, let's check out what this cool bass line I've worked on, it sounds like. So just so you know, and to be transparent, this was recorded from the Studio Logic keyboard I'm using. This audio did not come from the microphone. This was direct from the keyboard. I just didn't want to misrepresent that. But let's hear what this cool bass line is. Then let's we'll see what we can build off of that. Let's hear what it sounds like. It's like an electric bass sound. I use the keyboard's onboard settings to add a little drive to it. Sounded pretty dope. Let's add some stuff to it here. We got just um, that's with the EQ a bit here. And I like to add these little guitar amps on a bass to see what it sounds like. Nice little bit of fuzz. It sounds awesome. All right, now that we got that sick bass sound, why don't we double that up and add another bass line underneath it where I do the same thing, just to give another right, sound. Guys, let's see what this other bass line that I put on sounds like. So I added a little bit of synth bass to it. So this is what it sounds like by itself. Then when we add it in... All right, this time I'm going to add in some little embellishments on the keyboard with the synth, and we're going to see what that sounds like. It's going to take me more than one try, and I'm going to have to cut this together because I'm not that great of a keyboard. All right, let's see what I was able to come up with with these synth lines. Okay, so clearly something glitched with this clip right here, but I'll deal with that off camera. <laughs> but that's what it sounds like. So it sounded pretty dope, guys. So on this one, I just added a little bit of delay to it. Let's hear the difference. All right, what should we All right, add? So there's this other sound I really like that I want to add to it. Such a fine little sound, kind of old school. Hey, we need to add some percussion. Let's add some snaps and claps using our new cool microphone. I'm going to double that up. All right, guys. So I added the snaps a couple of times. So what I did here, I actually recorded it this one time. I added some more in. So let's hear what they sound like. I'm just going to solo it so you can hear what it sounds like with just the mic by itself. So right now it doesn't really sound like much, but I'm going to show you how we're going to adjust it to make it sound like something. i add a little bit of reverb on it. Like they have kind of a longer tail on my reverb. Then let's add this double track in. Oh yeah, now we're sounding like something. I think we need to add something else in here just to make it sound like even more of something. So I'm actually gonna add something from the little wood sticks that I use here. All right, so because those snaps are a little weak, I'm just gonna do a light tap with these sticks that I made. My sticks that I made, I'm gonna whack it a little harder. Right, let's put in just the wood like sticks that I made by themselves so you can hear what it sounds like. 
Same thing, doesn't sound that exciting by itself. Let's add some effects to it. Add a little bit of delay, just a short delay. Hit the reverb. And I'm just gonna add them in with the snaps. So you see the snaps are panned. And I put the wood stick right down the middle. So now it's gonna have a unique kind of a sound. It's gonna make it sound kind of full. Put it in with the rest of the noises. All right, what should I record next? Okay, I'm gonna do two different clips of this. I'm gonna do one where I'm just hitting it. Now I'm gonna do one where it's a little shake. All right, let's see what that sounded like. I'm sure this is gonna sound awesome. Take out some of the low and just like leave only the high stuff in here for a tambourine. Sounds pretty crispy. I like that. Last but not least, we gotta add my personal favorite. We gotta hit it with a little shaker of soul. I like how this sounds too. I gotta say, all these percussion sounds are sounding great with this mic. Let's put them all together just for fun. Tambourine. Claps. Sounds great. all together with the bass line here. So I'm not going to use all of these at the same time. Let's start adding a little kick pattern here. So we're going to loop some stuff in here. Actually, then we went to the 16th instead of the 8th at the end. We fixed that. I had a couple of other sounds here. I want a snare sound in here now. This is some John Sign quarantine kit that sounds dope. I like that sound. Kind of like that snare right there. Let's see if I can. I think these are a little hi hat. So I'm gonna go to a 99 sample here and find a cool sounded hi hat. That sound, that's not what I meant, but that sounds cool too. That sounds kind of jazzy. I like that. I was going to leave it like that. That's not what I even meant to do, but I like it better than what I was trying to do on purpose. All right, now what? Let's see if I can put my keyboard in MIDI mode here and see if we can add any little... So at this point, I'm gonna go off camera because, like I said, I don't want to. Right, I'm you back, down. and it's another day, and today we're gonna work on the vocals. So let's go ahead, get the mic fired up. When I wake up in the morning, I know my day will be handy. Cause all I think about is you, girl, and how you're sweet like candy. And without your sugar, baby, I don't think that I could manage. 
I'm trying to handle this damage. Oh, I need a piece of your candy. When I wake up in the morning, I know my day will be dandy. Cause all I think about is you, girl. And how you sweet like candy. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and take a look here. Now that we got our recordings in the program. So I did a low one and I did a high one. So let's just listen to it now since we want to see what the TZ Audio X2 Vintage can do. Let's just solo it. Excuse my horrible singing on this. I didn't practice. I don't think that I can manage. And the microphone is obviously it's not going to make you a better singer. Manage. Oh, I made a piece of your candy. Good morning. I know my day will be dandy. Let's turn the effects off of the, of the low one. Girl, and how you sweet like candy. And without your sugar, baby, I don't think that I can manage. To try to handle this damage, oh, I need a piece of your candy. When I wake up, I mean, one thing to me that's noticeable, I like the tone on this without even doing anything to it. The tone sounds great with the EQ. And without your sugar, baby, I don't think that I can manage. Cause trying to handle this damage, oh, I need a piece of your candy. Yeah, auto tune can't even fix me. Cause all I think about is you, girl, and how you sweet like candy, and without your sugar, baby. All right, that's enough for that one. That's enough for torturing you guys listening to me. Now, let's do the high one. So I've made different takes. I switched it up a little bit how I did the singing. So we gonna see what they sound like. I do like how this microphone sounds though. It sounds real good so far. I don't think that I could manage Cause trying to handle this damage Oh, I need a piece of your candy Morning I know my day will be dandy Cause all I think about is you, girl And how you sweet like candy And without your sugar, baby I don't think that I could manage Cause trying to handle this damage Oh, I need a piece of your candy When I wake up in the morning I know my day will be dandy. Cause all I think. Well, it is, I guess number four didn't record anything. I like I number two the best. Baby. I don't think that I could manage. Cause trying to handle this damage. Oh, I need a piece of your candy. Let's put the effects back in. So I did a little Morning. EQ. Basic EQ. I know my day will be dandy. Cause all I think about is you, girl. And how you sweet like candy. Hey, without your sugar, baby. I don't think that I could manage Could try to handle this damage Oh, I need a piece of your candy When I wake up Wait, So let's hear the context with the whole song Wake up in the morning I know my day will be dandy Cause all I think about is you, girl How you sweet like candy And without your sugar, baby I don't think that I could manage Cause trying to handle this damage Oh, I need a piece of your candy. Put the low Cause one I in. About is you, girl. How you sweet like candy. And without your sugar, baby. I don't think that I could manage. Cause trying to handle this damage. Oh, I need a piece of your candy. Ah. Morning. I know my day will be dandy. Cause all I think about is you, girl. How you sweet like candy. Hey, without your sugar, baby, I don't think that I could manage. Could try to handle this damage. Oh, I need a piece of your candy. When I wake up in the morning, I know my day. Yeah, so I'm pretty impressed with this microphone. That sounds great for this new song. So, what we're going to do is, you guys are going to get a sneak preview of this song. So, this song is going to be called Candy. Too Cool TV featuring Eladria. We gotta use the TZ Audio X3 Vintage, I mean X2 Vintage, and we're gonna use this on the song, so, I don't know, let me know if you guys are feeling the song, we're gonna go ahead and keep working on the vocals on here, cause you know, I need some more practice on this to get that tessitura of that hook correct, okay, of course we gotta get the verses and everything else done, but we wanted to throw this together, this was a video in collaboration with TZ Audio, to check out their new mic, and they said they want us to do a video that's in the style of this channel. 
So you already know how I do. I do the walkthroughs here. So we did a walkthrough of showing you the whole song. So yeah, my precious of the mic. You guys watch me. I played all these song sounds on here with the microphone, with the exception of the keyboard sounds. We did the percussion. We did the vocals. We did some special effect sounds on there. And I think that it sounds great. So we switch over to my face cam. All right, thank you so much to TZ Audio for giving me the opportunity to check out their microphone. I think you did a great job. You're going to hear this on a lot of the new tracks that I'm producing, that I'm working on. So I do like how this sounds. So my review of how it sounds, I'm going to give it two thumbs up. If you didn't see it already, make sure you go and check out my unboxing video. I give you my thoughts on how to build quality fields and whatnot. But in terms of how it sounds on this part of the video, I think it sounded great. You saw we did the percussion sounds with it. We did the vocals with it. And I'm impressed by it. You know, it really does sound like a more expensive product than this. It's, it has a sound that is truly reminiscent of the Neumann microphones that I've used in the past. I, you know, I, I had such a the privilege of getting to use in the past. And, yeah, I, th I would say the bang for your buck factor of this thing is there. So, yeah, guys, once again, give a shout-out to TZ Audio. It's going to be a link in the description. Make sure you go give them a uh, look if you're thinking about getting another microphone. And it's too cool TV. And I will see you on the next one.